All right, so this video was requested by a few people. I'm going to be demonstrating our, our um, different types of nail tips. Um, these are my own boxes. They're kind of broken, so I'm going to be using the Zule um, Sanding Mint. And these are in grit 150. They are available on my website. And I'm just going to file the very tip because I'm not really going to do my nails. And I have not done my nails throughout the whole quarantine. I don't know if these little ridges are from like stress or what the fuck. But this hand I have not done at all. So don't think that I damaged my nails. This is the only hand I've worked on. Not this one. So I'm just going to remove oh, the shine from where I'm going to glue the tip. And I have it in the lowest speed. And I'm working with my opposite hand right now. So if I don't do a very, very good job, girl, you already know. I don't even know if I'm going to need my thumb, but let me file it anyway. All right. So next, I'm going to dust these little bitches. And I'm going to start with... I'm going to do, um, what is it called? Stiletto and then coffin. So this one is a stiletto coffin. I'm going to look for the pinky nail. And this one, no. I forgot. I forgot why I was looking for you. All right, so I found the size. I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to be using the Mia Secret Nail Glue. This is my favorite. Fucking shit, I can open it. God damn it. Hold on. I can't find my freaking pliers. Oh, there you go. Alright, so... I had to already grab another one just in case. Back up. My fucking hand hurts. All right, so I like to apply the glue onto the tip instead of applying it directly onto my nail. Um, that way I don't apply too much glue. So all you want to do is apply the tip at the very tip. Don't apply too much glue. Don't apply too much nail because it will not stick. And if it does... It will cause it to pop off in the future with um, too much glue. Glue dissolves with water over time. So the less glue, the better. So these are the stiletto. Extra long stiletto. <clears throat> and let's see my ring finger. I have pretty big fingers, so so that one is going to fit, but I'm going to glue it more like C-curve or more. <clears throat> Let's see. So I have to use a number three because my fingers are pretty fat. Or not fat, but like wide. And there you go. So a lot of people ask, what is the difference between the stiletto, um, stiletto coffin and the extra long stiletto? And you can see this one is a lot pointier towards the tip. So you could reach the point faster. But this one is slimmer. So... I like to use both of them if I'm going to do a coffin and my client likes the like slim coffin then I would go with this one. If she wants more of a square coffin then you can go with this one. Alright. Or and then next I'm going to do the I'm going to do the regular coffin first. And then it's good to always have different um 
I had to tape them so they don't open because I'm a clumsy ass bitch and I drop shit. So it's good to have different um styles of tips for different kind of clients. Oh, I think they're mixed up. So I'm going to use a number two because a number three is way too big. I mean, number one. So again, I'm going to apply it to the tip and don't apply too much glue. Because that is not what's going to hold your nail. The, um, the acrylic is what is important. So there is a regular coffin. And now I'm going to do the C-curve coffin. Bitch. I need some scissors up in here. Shut up, Alexa. Nobody talking to you. Alright, so... Oh, this is the one that I dropped. So all the fucking numbers are all... Cray Cray 2. So I have some crooked ass fingers. I think I applied too much glue on this one. Me pasé de verga con el glue. Here we go. Ay, lo pegué chueco. Oh, well, it dried already. Well, my fingers crooked already, but anyway. So, this one is a C curve coffin. C curve coffin has a little C curve. This one is a regular coffin. So the C curve one is slightly longer than this one. And then this one is a regular extra long stiletto and the extra long um, stiletto coffin. Let me see. I think these two are the same length, but let's check it out because my pinky looks little. Um, what number is that? Number three. Damn, these number threes be running, running larger, and I guess these run larger. Because this number three and this number three look totally different. So I guess that's good if you have clients with larger fingers like myself. Okay, let's pretend. Yeah, they're about the same length. So whichever one is your fave. But there they are. So I hope this helps. I'm going to take a little picture. 